Hey there, thanks for watching and welcome to another video in the Knee Pain Clinic video series. So in today's video, what we're going to talk about is the foam roller. That's this bad boy here and these are really good uh, for kind of anything from self-massage to joint, joint mobility and even kind of muscle strength exercises you can use foam rollers for. Um, if, if you've seen my lacrosse ball video, then you'll know that I tend to stick away from the foam rollers for muscle release. I find the cross ball slightly more beneficial, but go and check out the other video. And, you know, foam rollers for me, particularly the long ones such as this, they're really good for kind of spinal mobility as well as kind of long lever exercises. And what I, what I mean by that is working to strengthen up the whole leg, the whole arm or the spine as a whole. So I will have another separate video or another separate series on how to use the foam roller most effectively. And again, all these exercises will be either exercises I do myself on a daily routine or exercises that I constantly prescribe to my clients that, you know, that are recovering from a back injury or a knee injury or something like that. So yeah, the foam roller, you, the main thing that I wanna to suggest to you, to you all is don't buy a short foam roller. Unless you're traveling around a lot and you need to have something that's compact, there's no reason why you need a small one. Um, the longer ones, they're much more versatile and you can do a greater range of exercises with them and there's just no reason to limit yourself to you know, your options. So this one's 90 centimeters. So um, that will pretty much, and I'm six foot one, so uh, that covers me just so if you, you know, if you're any taller than six two six three, you might want to look at try and get a longer one or get get two of these, and that should definitely cover you. But again, stay tuned for the exercises that I recommend with the foam roller. So as you can see, so this one's pretty flat and round. That's kind of what it looks like in the middle. And when I got these, I think I paid forty bucks uh, per foam roller. And look. They're okay, they're not amazing quality. Would I buy them again? Probably not. But the main thing I want to kind of stress, or another thing I want to stress for you all is you, you'll see the foam rollers with all the like little nodules and the bumps and the fancy patterns on them. And that's just a clever kind of marketing strategy to kind of um, sucker the customer in to think they have to get you know the super hard, super contoured ones. And reality is, they're actually not that much more beneficial than just getting a flat, smooth, simple one, which is the reason why I got this. Now, I have found out another um, another brand that does a really good, slightly higher quality in this, but not much more, which I will get some of those, and when they come in, I'll do another little test video. But basically, the key takeaways from this video are make sure you get a long foam roller, 90 centimeters at least, just plain and simple is fine. You don't need the, the nodules or the massaging um, ridges on the foam roller. That's what the cross ball is for. And again, they're, they're just another great durable piece of equipment that unless you have a pet um, or it gets, unless you have a pet or something that's gonna damage it, it's not gonna disintegrate from just personal use. So in the meantime, if you have any questions, then make sure you email me at info at kneepainclinic.com.au or leave a question below in the YouTube comments or Facebook comments and I will uh, I will make sure that I take it into consideration for future videos and also make sure you guys check out my website kneepainclinic.com.au for other kind of rehab protocols and programs and there's I do have some uh, I also have some different content on the website as well to what you'd probably see on Facebook and YouTube anyway Hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you soon. Thanks guys. Bye.